What's up guys, this is Sonny, back with another video. Now today real quick I just want to show you guys how to set up your Nvidia Shield with your 4K TV and also how to game stream using your gaming PC uh, by using your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Uh, so today basically I'm just going to show you guys how to set up step by step everything. Alright guys, so first thing first, what do we need to do? We need to connect the Shield to the TV with the HDMI cable and then we need to connect the power cable so let's first connect the power cable and then we'll connect the HDMI cable all right now the power cable is connected let's just connect the HDMI cable now you do have an option between Wi-Fi and Ethernet if you have a good Wi-Fi in your home you don't need Ethernet cable you can also add an external hard drive. So if you have 16 gig variant uh, Nvidia Shield, no worry. You can add a external hard drive and you know connect your hard drive to the USB, and you should be perfectly fine. So you can download movies, you can you know download games and stuff. So no worry. You can extend the storage. So for the 4K game stream or just regular game stream, basically we need to jump into our uh, gaming computer and download the latest GeForce Now driver from NVIDIA website. And then after that, you need to create an account. If you have a Gmail account, you can use your Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, you can just easily sign up with your email address. Now, after that, we need to jump into the setting and then just enable the shield. So by enabling the shield, basically, we can find our gaming PC uh, well, when we log in with our same GeForce Now account in our shield. So as you guys can see, I have six games. Whenever you uh, download a new game in your gaming PC, you can just easily uh, you know, click on the scan and they will scan automatically and then Basically, the game will come right here and we can easily uh, stream. So we can configure the shield with the uh, shield controller. And uh, the first thing, uh, we are not using the Ethernet cable, so we need to configure the Wi-Fi. And after that, we need to configure the Google account and that should be it. Alright, so now that we are done setting up the shield, as you guys can see, we are in the UI right now. And there is some pre-installed app like YouTube, Netflix and Amazon so we also have access to Google Play Store we can download and play any game or any application we want and so let's just jump into Nvidia games so there's three way you can play game with Nvidia Shield the first one is my favorite Nvidia game stream so Nvidia game stream is basically you can play any game from your gaming PC you already have uh, through your Wi-Fi you know or Ethernet and you know you can stream to your shield and play in your 4k TV and I just think this is really cool you know I don't have to sit in front of my computer and play a game I you know I can just sit in my living room you know while I'm watching movie or something I can play any game I want from my computer all I have to do is just leave my computer on now the second one is also my favorite uh, GeForce Now so basically GeForce Now is perfect solution for someone who doesn't have a gaming PC so basically if you are someone you don't have a gaming PC you can subscribe to GeForce now and you can play all these games there are some free games and also the new games you have to buy but it's still worth it because if you don't own a gaming computer and you do want to play some you know high-end games uh, you can just subscribe to GeForce now and you could just sit in your living room and just play game with your Nvidia Shield you don't have to buy like you know a gaming PC so the third option is one of the best option I personally think the reason I say one of the best option so if you're someone who is not looking to pay like $7.99 a month for GeForce now or if you're someone who doesn't have a gaming PC so if you're someone who just bought Nvidia Shield for like light gaming you can easily just uh, download games from a Google Play Store and you can play basically any game from like any Android game from basically from Google Play Store. So I personally think uh, the third option is a great option. So let's just jump in uh, a game so I can show you guys. So let's open Doom. So now I'm opening uh, Doom from my computer. You can see the controller works really nice. Like it's really smooth. 
uh, you don't feel any lag or anything between because now I'm playing this game from my computer so basically I'm streaming this game from my computer you by uh, Wi-Fi so I'm you know using the Wi-Fi to play this game from my computer so and you can see like it just works perfect so let's start the game all right where is it where is it where is it So overall guys I think the uh, the controller does work really good and as you guys can see there is a button right in the middle so basically with that you can open the setting and you can just uh, struggle around the settings and there is a home button right there just like the uh, remote control if you click on that that will take you to home. Also guys you can play some 4K HDR game from your PC to your uh, TV by using Nvidia Shield game like uh, Mass Effect is a new release and the game works flawlessly I don't have the game right now that's I couldn't show you guys but uh, like I say you can play 4k games and also guys if you don't have a gaming PC no worry you can you can subscribe to Nvidia's uh, GeForce Now Cloud and you can play any game you want basically uh, GeForce Now have their high-end server with like GTX 1070, GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti so you will get almost same performance you get home with the GeForce Now. Now the description is about $7.99 there's a lot of free game and some of the game you have to buy. Now if you're someone who don't want to buy anything or you don't want to subscribe to anything you can easily download game from Google Play Store and you can play any Android game you want. Okay guys so that should be it if you guys have any other question don't forget to leave in the comment below. Peace.